Puck is going to be controlled by the river, and they have a chance the other way. It's a three on one. Oakley fires it across. The shot on goal. Nice stop from Siska, who was able to steer the rebound. His pass was a poor one. Puck sent up the middle. It's a breakaway opportunity for Owen Kim. Kim to the backhand. Scores! Owen oh, Kim is in. Away again by Kim. Kim fires it across. A great save there from Siska. And the Rivermen are going to score as Siska can't cover the puck. Goals just chance over. The other way for Langley. It's Chan. A centering feed. He finds Lou. The shot on goal. Big save by Siska. Another chance. Another save. The defenders are there, but no, they score. Number 27, Duncan Ramsey who looks cross ice as well. He finds McGilvery and the Chiefs are coming back the other way. McGilvery shot, stop, rebound is loose and that one is gonna be stopped as well by Gundara. Now puck is centered, chance for the Chiefs, another great save, this time with the left pad. Delay, delay to Castle Ring in the bumper. Castle Ring goes back to delay, who fires it across. Lacroix, one timer, that one stopped, backhand chance is also stopped by Gundara. He's steered away, Chiefs get it right back down. However, as they try and make something happen, more in a one timer, the puck is loose in the crease, but Gundara was there. He he covers it up and the Chiefs Gilvery kicks that one he finds Stenberg and now Stenberg's pass just gets over to Lacroix they've got one last chance they get it to McGilvery the backhander just goes wide and that'll do it as the first period comes to a close a great last sex Savage Kovacevic finds his man James Bond and now it's a breakaway feed for Owen Kim looking for the hack trick he shoots but a great glove save Receive the pass, and now Mercek's got it back, and he's going to drive it over to Ramsey. Now it's over across the Curtis. His shot tipped in front. Rebounds there. Kinch puts it on goal, and that one is the left circle. Ravelli's pass knocked down. Chiefs couldn't clear it, and now it's an opportunity for Langley again. This time it's picked up here by A.J. Lacroix, and he starts the other way. Lacroix cutting wide, has Kinch. Kinch scores! Dylan Kinch! His fifth goal in the last three games with 14.31 to go in the second. And it's the first one they needed to claw into this deficit. It's now a 3-1 game. Now you cue the horn. What a great pass that was. And Dylan Kinch keep feeding that hot hand. That's just a great job by A.J. Lacroix. Has the puck on his left and just keeps moving his feet. Doesn't settle for just an outside shot. Gets his stick in position to make a pass and how about Dylan Kinch just on the right side of that one-on-one -on -one battle happening on the other side of the ice. Great pass by Lacroix. This time it's picked up here by AJ Lacroix and he starts the other way. Lacroix cutting wide, has Kinch. Kinch scores! Dylan Kinch, his fifth goal in the last three games with 14.31 to go in the second. And it's the first one they needed to claw into this deficit. It's now a 3-1 game. Now you cue the horn. And now here comes Lacroix again the other way. Lacroix with some room to skate on the left wing. Slows it up. Gives it to Kinch. Dylan Kinch shoots. Oh, he hit the oh. crossbar. Like, comes a Sirachi who shoots. It bounces over to the right point. It's Weave who gives it to Lacroix. He shoots. He just missed glove side. And now Mercic tries to wrap around. The puck is loose. He's loose at the side of the goal. Night, like I said, it's on the depth chart for the game, but I have not seen him once. So the Chiefs have been playing all night with five defensemen. Chance in front, and that one was steered towards the goal. Goal. Stenberg is the first player there for the Chiefs, but he couldn't control it. And now here's Owen Kim, who's got two goals in the game. Gets around one player. His shot is stopped by Sis the other way. Fires a hard pass for Batchelor. Batchelor trying to skate to the puck, tries a sharp angle shot. It's there, and they score! Dalton McGilvery on the rebound is able to put it over the blocker of Ajit Gundara. And the Chiefs have made it a one-goal game with 14.28 to go in the third. You know what? What a great job. Not only by Dalton McGilvery, not only by Bachelor and his line mate Jones all night. I'm telling you right now, I'm just going to give credit where it's due. Coach Brian Maloney goes right back to that energy line after the man advantage failed. 
and they keep it simple. They did a good job at playing in the offensive zone all night long. I thought at times they've been the best line, energy line status, and that's just keeping it simple. Batcher throws it to the net and But Weeb was there following up. A good pass finds Mercek, who enters the zone. Mercek to Lacroix. A nice pass for Kinch. What a save by Gondara as he stacks the pads and snags it with the glove with 6.16 remaining in the. remaining in the third. Nagra throws that one around the boards. Weeb is there. Towards the net it goes. That's in front. Oh, oh they were stopped by Gondara. His delay had an opportunity, and that's going to do it as the Chiefs just run out of time and are unable to come back from a three-goal deficit as the Rivermen will escape the Chilliwack Coliseum. Victors over the hometown Chilliwack Chiefs. What a last-minute chance there. An exhausted Abram Weave just shovels a backhand as he does a great job being right there on the scene, keeping that puck in. There was two chief players alone out front and they just weren't able to either of them get a solid handle on that puck. And Gudaro just stands tall and tough, backstopping his team.